Welcome to Fire Breathing Kittens, an actual play tabletop role playing game podcast. Today we're joined with our new member, Errol Corvidbau. Thank you for joining us, Errol. Can you tell our listeners what you look like? Um, Errol Corvidbau is my name. I, on the right side of my face, you will see I have a burn scar running down the right side of my face. I, um, I prefer large, wide-brimmed hats with a feather, preferably. Um, I wear an eye patch over my right eye, uh, as well as I prefer the large, um, puffy shirts. Um, some would say I dress somewhat like a pirate. However, I think that, uh, I think I just, I just like a certain style, you know? Oh, yeah, that style's popular nowadays. If you see Lothario walking around, he's always got his big puffy shirt. I also have quite a few rings on my fingers. Um, I like to wear a gold chain on my uh, around my neck, but I, I try to keep it not too elaborate. All right. I can really imagine what you look like, yeah. Question one out of 15. You're a new addition to the Cranbox Errol. What color would you be and why? I believe I would be the color turquoise. It seems a rather eccentric color, and I am fond of all things peculiar. Hmm. Interesting. Question two. What are your strengths, Errol? No matter what circumstances I find myself in, I seem to be able to find my way out if, it, if along with the help of my friends. It always seems that whenever I'm stuck in the mud, someone comes along to help me out. Hey, being likable is really the only skill that exists. All the other ones fall to the wayside. That is the most important trait a person has. <laughs> uh, but everybody's got some. Question three is, what are your weaknesses? Well, uh, my friends would probably say that I make overcomplicated plans. I do my best to find our way out of situations, but oftentimes I find the most difficult way around a problem. <laughs> I, I've never done that before. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> I do that all the time. Uh, it's relatable. See? You're likable. <laughs> Question four. Where did you grow up, Errol? I grew up on the streets of Jishup. Um, the, a small slum uh, populated mostly by halflings that we referred to as the turkey neck. Oh. Uh, should I ask? <laughs> I don't know why they call it that. Not in, <laughs> not entirely sure. Maybe we'll find out someday. Okay. All right. Uh, question five. Why did you want to join the Fire Breathing Kittens Guild, Errol? For me, uh, it comes back down to uh, having people to work with. It always seems that you need people around you to succeed. So I, I saw the Fire Breathing Kittens and I said, this looks like a group I could get along with. Wonderful. I hope so. We'll find out soon, yeah. Question six. If you were given a one-minute advertisement time spot, sort of like a commercial that the entire city would see during the annual Nikimoi fighting tournament, a, a Super Bowl, if you would, what would you fill that advertisement with? Come one, come all, and see the amazing feats of daring do. Errol Corvidbow has faced a thousand dangers and always come out on top. All of this for the low, low price of 20 gold. <laughs> Entertaining the masses, building your legacy, and getting that sweet, sweet gold. <laughs> it's, all, it's all about the money. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, you got to pay for that ad somehow. <laughs> I hear they're expensive. Uh, question seven. Errol, what do you like doing in your spare time? I like to just lean back at the local tavern and have a few drinks on meals with friends. That sounds nice. Yeah. Question eight. What things in life are still a mystery to you? Um, it's, it seems to me, unfortunately, we tend, people tend to go missing a lot. There's always quests to find people or find a missing person. My, my birth parents, unfortunately, disappeared when I was quite young, um, and I am always looking out to help people who have lost people in order to help them find their loved ones. So the mystery to me is, why do people go missing all the time? Hmm. Yes. 
Yes, it seems like there's quite a high number of missing people. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's, it's almost as if it's a plot device used by... <laughs> anyway, um, why are there so many missing people? <laughs> uh, question nine. Everyone's got one, but not everyone knows about it. What's your annoying habit? Uh, my, my good friend Kalamon says that I brag too much. I get carried away telling stories and telling everybody about these great adventures, and I take it over the top. But to me, it's just entertainment. What good is a story if people don't enjoy it? So I, I spice it up a little, you know? Yeah. I mean, is the truth more important than their laughter and smiles? <laughs> I would say it's a mix, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Some truth... Some great storytelling. Yeah, yeah. Both. Yeah. Do you speak any other languages, Errol? Um, I speak Draconic, Halfling, and Common. Uh, Draconic to keep an eye on some old foes. And Halfling, I grew up speaking Halfling. And Common to speak with everybody else. Yeah. Well, that's a useful bunch of languages. You'll be good at translating for the group. Uh, question 11. Where would you like to visit? I have always desired to visit the town of Errol. Someone decided to name a town after me, and I find this quite interesting. <laughs> yes, you, you're so popular that they named the town after you? My goodness, you've got to see it. <laughs> well, that makes sense, yeah. Uh Oh, we're in silly question territory. Question 12 out of 15. Do you like pickles, Errol? I love the taste, but they can be quite difficult to escape from. Escape from? A pickle. We're oh, in a pickle oh, right now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I get it. We found ourselves in a pickle now. Ah. <laughs> question 13 out of 15. A penguin walks through that door right now, wearing a sombrero. What does it say, and why is it here? I imagine it would say something in penguin noises, but I would say, Ave Novaladora. I thought I told you never to show your flippers in Nicomoy again. <laughs> oh my, you guys have some history, huh? Uh, maybe you'll find out on another episode. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, second to last question. Errol, what would you like remembered about you? Well, me personally, I would like to be remembered by my friends. Stories we've had together and remembrances of things and, and, and adventures we've had. And as someone who always worked tirelessly to help his friends. That's very nice. Aww. And very last question. What is one message you would give to your fans, Errol? Tip your server, and always remember those who helped get you where you are. Well, you heard it here, folks. Thank you, Errol. I hope we'll see you in an upcoming adventure. Surely you will. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>